How's it going everyone? It's Darren with muzzleloaders.com. We are at SHOT Show 2023 in the Traditions booth and this is day one. We made Traditions our first stop this year and uh, I have Allison. How are you doing today, Allison? I'm good, Darren. How are you? I'm incredible. I'm incredible. Yeah. I'm excited to talk about some of the stuff that we have here because um, for some of you, you might have been familiar with the Traditions PA Pellet. Um, that's been in our line for a long time. But new for this year, Traditions has introduced what's called the Shed Horn. Um, but just for your guys' understanding, we're going to go through both so you can see all the features and understand why these two models exist. So Allison, let's talk about the PA pellet first. Absolutely. So we carry our PA pellet in both flintlock and percussion. It has a 26 inch chromoly steel barrel. It is fluted and tapered. So that's nice because you can have a lightweight gun. Um, you know, in a lot of areas, you might do a lot of footwork. You might be walking quite far. So having a light gun that is not going to take a lot of extra effort for you mm -hmm. is great. Um, it does uh, have a one in 28 twist. So it is able to fire modern projectiles like a sabotage bullet. Um, so that's great for accuracy. That's great for expanded bullet options. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it is available in footlock and percussion. It can use take loose or pelletized powder. So that's always nice when you have that capability to have different powder options. Yep. It's available in a bunch of different finishes. Obviously we have wood here. We also have a camo model up here, synthetic black. Um, it's just a great all around gun and it's great for anybody that's looking to get into a side lock season mm -hmm. um, or that's just somebody who's looking to keep it primitive. Yep, yeah, and I think one of the cool things um, with the PA pellet is uh, it has the removable breech yeah. plug. Um, I think that's a big deal for a lot of times. People that are looking to get into side lock hunting, they, it's, they're intimidated by the cleaning process behind using a side lock. Uh -huh. And uh, the removable breech plug makes that a lot easier as well as being able to mount, um, you have like, uh, it's drilled and tapped to accept like a scope mount. Yep. That's just super cool as well. So it's kind of like a crossover between something you'd think of like with a modern inline and a side lock. So. Uh, if you're looking to kind of cross that bridge, mm -hmm. this would be a great first step into that world as well. Mm -hmm. um, so now when we talk about the shed horn, it has all the same features, except there's a few differences that make mm -hmm. it um, a little bit different. So mm -hmm. can we talk about that? Yep. So we basically consider this like a cousin of the PA pellet, basically. It's got some similar features. It's still got the 26 inch chromoly steel barrel fluted and tapered. Um, they both do have a premium Cerakote finish on the outside, which helps protect against weather does still have the accelerator breech plug like Darren mentioned. That is such a great feature. And you know, before you'd have to try to, you know, put it in hot water, it'll yeah, be water. Now yeah. you can take that breech plug out, run patches through it. It's much easier cleaning wise. A couple differences. Um, this has a musket cap ignition and it only fires loose powder. Mm -hmm. um, so that is a little bit different, but there are seasons opening up like in Montana and West Virginia that they're calling heritage seasons. Mm -hmm. um, so these guns really allow people to get another tag, participate in another season. Um, and again, if you're just more of a primitive person, you can have some of the more modern features, but still keep it primitive. Yeah. Yeah. I think that you mentioned the heritage seasons. I think that's a huge plus, especially with the shed horn. And like Allison said, it does come with a musket cap nipple. Um, which is different from a lot of other side locks. So you already have that installed and ready to go. And um, for those heritage seasons, a lot of times they're taking place, especially in Montana, later in the year where you're gonna want every advantage that you can have. Yep. And the weather in Montana <laughs> in the winter time can be pretty tough. So having the Cerakoted barrel and the ease of cleaning with the removable breech plug, it, it's the hotter ignition with the musket cap is gonna be huge with the shed horn. Um, so I'm really excited about both these products. I think the, the PA pellet's awesome and I'm really excited about the shed horn. So uh, stay tuned for more SHOT Show content and uh, we really appreciate you chatting with us today, Absolutely, Allison. thanks for coming by.